is Shelby and Daisy, and this is our short school bus. We haven't really, we just call it the green bus, but I nicknamed it Rusty because it's pretty rusty. <laughs> yep, we yeah, got it from Traverse City, uh, Michigan, and so it's a 94. It's like over 20 years old and so with all the salt and snow and all that gets it a little rusty. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a big trip around the U.S. Um, I'm an artist so we're spending a year on the road and um, seeing beautiful places and exploring and uh, showing our daughter what this beautiful earth is about. So this is our kitchen. We kept it pretty simple. We got our spice racks over here. Um, keep some potatoes and stuff or some fruits and vegetables up on the counter. We just kind of picked out some key spices that we that we wanted to use and then we have a few in our storage right in here. But the really nice thing about a bus is that everything is magnetic so even our curtains are just a pole magnetic um, and then also our spices they're all magnetic. It's just super simple things that um, keep it all clean and make it necessary for us to utilize the magnets in the bus. and. We also have some lighting, LED lighting that surrounds the entire bus and that um, has been super helpful because it just illuminates at night and it doesn't draw a lot of energy is the key thing. I kind of think a lot of different bus conversions or van conversions have like the rods or something um, where they pull up their curtains but I knew I wanted it to feel really homey and um, especially since this was going to be our home for a little bit we wanted, I like the white curtains and I like everything to feel clean and airy and so we wanted it to be like a pull through and kind of like aesthetically pleasing so that's the reason why it just felt simpler to do that because then if we need to we can just pull them down real quick um, and that's all over the bus interior under here is our food storage and we just pull this thing out and then we'll hook up our stove or our fuel a little propane cooker and then well, wow, we got our stove. We uh, we wanted it to be like this because we'd like to cook outside as much as we can. Um, so we wanted it to be portable and not built in, taking up counter space. But when we're cooking inside, that's where it goes. Um, and that works out pretty well for us. Over here, we've got food storage, or that's like dishes and stuff. And then over here, food. We can usually go about five days on food before we got to go back to the grocery store and kind of restock. The mini fridge is pretty energy efficient itself and it's just small. So, you know, obviously the, the fewer times that we open it, the longer that it'll last. But we can, we've got two 100 watt panels up top going to a Yeti 1250 battery bank. And so as long as we've got sun, we did wire it in so that while we're driving, we can charge the battery. And so now we can go indefinitely um, off the grid as long as we run the engine a little bit each day and, and have some sunshine. It's uh, so that's like a Yeti makes like an off the grid battery bank. Um, they've got a few different levels. So it's essentially instead of, they, they put everything in one, like the inverter, the solar panel controller, all that stuff fits into one. So it was kind of, it was the most expensive part of our build, but we just decided to bite the bullet for simplicity. And, and plug directly into our battery bank, um, which is nice. Yeah, so if we have a little space heater, 110. Um, it'll draw from there and it works great. And then as far as like this fridge goes, we didn't want to do a Yeti and just for the, mere fact that I wanted a little bit of a freezer. What we'll do a lot of times is if we are in a place that we can hook up, I'll pre-make chicken in a crock pot or we'll grill it and then I can freeze it. And so that's kind of a nice um, bonus that we have with this type of fridge system is just because it has a small freezer that does work really well for us. And as far as food storage, like we said, it works really well. So yeah, like like I was saying, it's um, it's just nice to have a little freezer space and also with a child we have to kind of make up food ahead of time and just have that accessible and handy. And then as far as our drawers go, everything clicks in so it won't move when we're on the road. Um, it has like a little click. Latch, yeah. yeah, a little latch. I have a friend who um, does cabinetry so he helped me with it and then actually this countertop is um, strips of wood from his down. work that we glued together over like six months or whatever that he had saved up and glued together and then made this countertop. And then little things that we have found is there are always little like quirks and little spaces in a bus that you just need to make sure you actually utilize. For us we have up here we have to keep we keep all of the cleaning supplies up here so they're out of reach for the baby and then also we keep all of our medicine up here and a little bit of our technology stuff. So it's just stuff that she can't reach and it's just high up and it latches. And then honestly, this is a really sturdy tabletop that will, if we're watching a movie, we just set our laptop up there. Obviously it's nice to have the magnetic. Everything is magnetic and 
organized because that's the thing it's a small space so everything needs to have a home and that's kind of something we've noticed is super important to us yeah so we um, built in some seat belts inside these um, booths right here so um, this is she strapped in and reverse facing which is what a two-year-old supposed to be um, so we just unclip this and this usually sits in the front seat while we're parked and then I can kind of show you this becomes a little tabletop a little dinette area so we uh, just like that this system is just it's like closet shelf material that we used um, and just screw it into there and then it sits up like a little dinette for us like that and then um, at night when Daisy's going to bed this just goes down here and then we have right here yeah so once we get the car seat out of there then we just use it like a little bench hangout area and you can pull out our whatever you call it yeah we have a little ottoman here that we use for our feet and then also for toy storage so Daisy's got some toys in here. Um, that was a later ad, but it's been very, very beneficial. <laughs> yeah, keeps it cozy. And it's another seat if someone has got guests that want to sit down, they can sit in that. So we have that. And then for her crib, we had to kind of get creative on this. Um, so this is just a baby gate. And we put on some little eyelet screws there. And then they just clip into some screws coming out and then they latch underneath so that it's secure nice and sturdy and then that's her uh that's her, her crib. crib area we put a little blanket down and stuff and she, she likes can't, it she can't climb climb out and and we also put up like a padding so it's essentially a simu simulates a, a crib padding and we put a little mattress for her which we keep all of her bedding in here so this is extra storage for all of her bedding at night and blankets. So this is Daisy, all Daisy's clothes going here. Back here is our dirty laundry, which kind of goes back into underneath the bed. And then these are Shelby's drawers right here. And my drawers right here. And this was an old filing cabinet we picked up from Goodwill. Um, and yeah, we just painted it white. We, we wanted it because it's super durable and it locks so that when we're going down the road, our drawers don't come flying open. So yeah, so then in here we keep um, our screens. some screens. So if we're somewhere where it's kind of buggy, we uh, just put some magnets on it and then it sits in the- it Sits right in the window. In the window right there. These are what we found at Menards, was it? You can buy them at like any Home Depot or yeah. Walmart even sells them. They're like $5. Then, yeah, we just put magnets on the end. Super glued magnets. It's, <laughs> everything is magnetic. So. Yep. And yeah, here's our closet, which is kind of a mess, but we keep like our shower stuff down there. So our bathing suits and some extra sweatshirts. Oh, we just got some, you know, regular hooks and then um, or just some grab sweatshirts. Okay. We went with a really simple water system. I semi regret it. I kind of wish we would have invested a little more time, but we just have these pressurized tanks back here, just like what you'd use in a garden. And it's just a hand pump, um, really simple, and then it just sprays some water. Um, it helps us use less water, which is really nice. Um, but, you know, we're very conscious because you have to be pushing it to, to use it, but. Yeah, it can be kind of cumbersome sometimes. It's nice too though because you can just take this off and extend it. So if we ever need like an outdoor shower area, we can just go like this right yeah. out, out the window, mm -hmm. which has been useful. And um, it's just really simple. It's kind of obnoxious to have to refill it, but again, if you're not using a ton of water and we keep an extra jug up top and in the back, so. And that one's like a four gallon. So doing dishes really isn't too bad. You know, we definitely try to Go as simple as possible with dishes. Sometimes we just eat right out of the pot. Just to keep it <laughs> the fewer dishes, the better. So yeah, that works out pretty well. Bathroom, we just have a, a five-gallon bucket right here with a little toilet seat on top as an emergency toilet. And to be honest, we've never had to use it um, because really, usually, if we're in a public place, there's always a bathroom somewhere. And if we're boondocking, we're in the middle of nowhere. Then you're in the middle of nowhere, and no one cares. So. <laughs> Yeah, it really hasn't been an issue for us. I know that's a big question for a lot of people. Um, we're pretty relaxed, like it doesn't bother us to go in the woods. It's just not but that much of an issue. Yeah, it really has not been a stressor at all. And for for the baby, for Daisy, um, we do, she used to be able to fit in here where we could do baths in the sink, um, but now we have a bucket right underneath here that is like a multi-purpose bucket and we'll 
just heat up water and she does baths outside and she loves it so that's kind of what we do for her yeah so i'm 5'11 almost six foot and after we put the floor we've got two inch insulation on the floor and three inch in the walls and so after we finish the floor we're at about six foot right now maybe six one yeah so yeah i fit just perfectly um in here which works out really well yeah we're grateful that we can stand up and fit and Obviously. Shelby's shorter, so not an issue for her. But yeah, this is our bed. We just have a futon mattress that we've had forever since we got married. And it works out great. We got a little foam top mm -hmm. to that to make it a little more comfortable. And then a couple mm -hmm. blankets and... You can show them the back mirror. And keeps us cozy. Yeah, and then here's our shelf up here. We just wanted an open shelf, just kind of make it feel homey too. And we got some books, some of our books and kids' books. And then um, a little bit of extra clothes storage up there and then we yeah we just did some lines here some rope to just keep these from coming out slides right across and keeps everything nice and tight up that way yeah this is just like a piece of i don't even know probably two by ten and yeah it's just got these nice channels right here so we just slid it in right on top and then screwed it down so it doesn't move on us and it's really easy to install and really simple and does a job for us this is where we keep okay. underwear and socks and that sort of thing this is our medicine cabinet. Um, this is where we keep like our toothbrushes and deodorant and Shelby's makeup and that sort of thing. And then it's got a little mirror on it too. So we just mounted that to the side of that cabinet. Um, yeah, over here we keep our little buddy heater. This is our propane heater um, that heats this thing up in 10 minutes. It's toasty. So that's been pretty clutch. We use that a lot. And then we keep pans um, on the side there, just tucked away. And then up here, we this was a little afterthought, but we had this... We had this big arm coming across for the for the door, and we didn't really know what to do with that space, so we just put it's a big open shelf, kind of just to set anything on. Um, yeah, we use it all the time. It's just like a little grab countertop for anything. And then we found this map um, a couple months into the trip, and we were like, "Oh, it'd be cool to, you know, hodgepodge a map on there, and then we can draw where we've been." So that's been cool and fun to as we process where we're going next to look at the map and so go up there and all that and then right behind this curtain is this is the yeti 1250 i was talking about earlier it's our battery bank really simple setup you got some 110 outlets right there and then these run to the solar panels up top and we'll keep all of our extra cords in here and then just above it we keep our shoes um, right by the doorway so we don't get it too dirty in here it's got a um, 7.3 idi um, it's a 94 ford it's an econoline front end so it's it's really just a van which has been really nice because um, when we've had to take it to a shop or something they kind of freak out at first when they see it as a bus but when they see that it's just an econoline e350 front end then then they realize it's a lot more um, workable and yeah, it's a 7.3 IDI, um, which I did a bunch of research ahead of time. And they say that these are one of the best engines you can get. They should run forever. Um, and it really has. It keeps trucking for us, which we're, we're grateful for. So yeah, it drives um, really just like a big van. It, it's really not too complicated. We, we chose the size so that we could fit in a parking space. We can kind of navigate a city just fine and we can pull into tight spaces. So it doesn't have dualies on the back, which a lot of buses like this do. It just has singles and we wanted that for the sake of ease and easier to change a tire. And that was kind of recommended to us too. So we're grateful we went with that. So yeah, it just navigates just like a regular big van. You know, we definitely, with everything inside, we take a little easy on turns, a little easy <laughs> speeding up and stopping and stuff. But yeah, we're, we chose a smaller size because we wanted to be able to navigate easily and both of us be able to drive it. Yeah, this is the uh, the back of the bus. We kind of added this cargo hauler back here because um, we do art shows along the way. And so this is where we keep our show tent. So we usually keep some firewood and stuff hanging on the back, um, kind of any outdoor stuff that we want. Uh, we love to bike, so we threw, um, it's just like a $25 bike rack back here, but it's lasted the last six months and been totally fine. Um, so we keep our bikes back here. I've been trying to collect some stickers of where we've been. And then I can show you kind of, we lofted the bed the way it was so that we could store stuff underneath. And so everything kind of has its place, but we keep, um, we've got some of our art supplies. We've got climbing gear, mountain biking helmets. Yeah, so we have a um, little backpack carrier for baby Daisy, some tools, kind of anything that we need to work on the bus while we're on the road, but everything obviously pretty simple and stuff for art show set up as well. So that's why the bed's so high. And then that's about it back here. On top, 
He has his surfboard. We also have a blow up paddleboard. Blow up paddleboard. And then some more climbing gear. We keep a stroller up there, also a pack and play for Daisy if oh, we're ever yeah. in. We work on farms sometimes, so if we're ever in a different space. We also have a really cool fold up high chair. It um, acts just like a regular fold up. Um, camp chair and it's really cool because it extends and we use it inside outside everywhere we go It's a really really nice addition. That's called um, chow baby. We got it on Amazon Super easy. It's been awesome. Yeah, we use it every day every day up here at the front We've got two 100 watt solar panels um, From goal zero and they work great anytime there's sun we get really good power We do have them permanently mounted some people have them so that you can adjust them because we move every couple days We just chose to keep them permanent on there and you know when the sun's angled a certain way We don't get as good a power, but they, they really work great for us. Uh, we just have to clean them every month or so Something interesting about us too is we um, Our water tank we don't have a gray water tank so whenever we're using our water, it actually just goes right outside. So we have to be wary. If we're in a campground, we put a bucket down and we catch our water and put it elsewhere. Um, if we're out in the middle of nowhere, it doesn't matter. It can just go to the ground. So that's something that we, we just made super simple. Just make our life easier and just a quick setup for us. Yeah, so I'm an artist, so I do mostly acrylics and watercolor. I do a ton of art shows, so that a little bit dictates where we go as far as states. We try to stick to two art shows a month. Um, I also sell online. I do a lot of outdoor scenes and I do a lot of florals. So yeah, that's how we sustain ourselves. Uh, if you want to look us up, it's www.shelbykriegel.com. There'll be a link in the bio for it so you can check that out. And then we'll also put in the bio as well our Instagram, which is Green Bus and Us. And my Instagram is just Shelby Kriegel. We post a ton of different discounts that we do, and I, I love painting bridal bouquets as well as um, custom home painting. And then I obviously paint all outdoor scenes wherever we go. I just stay inspired and keep painting. So if you want to support our journey, um, we'd love for you to check out our Etsy page, and that's how it kind of keeps us sustainable and on the road. Yeah, and I, I would appreciate the support.